Bhagavad Gita, Text 3.37 The Lord of Sri said, This force is lust, born of Rajaguna. It eventually transforms into anger. It is insatiable like a great fire and very injurious. Know this to be the enemy. Krishna says that the force that impels one to act contrary to scripturally guided intelligence is desire, karma, the lust for material enjoyment. This lust resides within the heart like a cancer, and it is very subtle and difficult to uproot. It is born of the material guna of passion, rajas. When desire is obstructed, it turns to anger, a manifestation of the material guna of ignorance, tamas. It is said in Srimad Bhagavatam 9.19.13 that all the paddy, barley, gold, cattle and women in the world are not enough to satisfy one man, suffering from karma. Therefore, one should resort to desirelessness. Because karma is so powerful, Mahashanaha, and very injurious, Mahapapam, it cannot be subjugated by anything less than the most comprehensive treatment. In dealing with enemies, it is said that one should first seek conciliation, then try bribery. If this is unsuccessful, one should attempt to sow this incision in the ranks of the enemy. If this fails, one must resort to punishment. Punishment of karma is best accomplished by invoking the help of the transcendental Kama Deva, Krishna, who proceeds to instruct Arjuna how to conquer karma from the next verse to the end of the chapter. Footnote 7 Kama Deva is the god, Deva, of Kama. This god is Cupid, but Krishna is also known as Kama Deva, the transcendental Cupid. His Rasa Leela is thus referred to by Sridhaswami as Kama Vijaya, the conquest of Cupid.